So in thinking about these concepts, that leads us to how we evaluate risks. Risk is almost always rated as a product of likelihood and impact. If a risk is an uncertain event, then what's the probability it'll happen? And if it does happen, what's the potential impact? And putting those two together gives us our rating of a risk. Now, likelihood and impact can be assessed qualitatively or quantitatively. And, and what you see most often is they tend to get rated on a five-point qualitative scale, which really is an expansion of the high, medium, and low concept. Now, there's certainly other ways to do it, um, but the five-point scale is by far the most common approach that we see. So for example, if a risk is very likely to occur with a likelihood rating of four out of five and has an extreme impact of five out of five, then the risk would have a relatively high rating or score of 20 out of a possible 25. And we can use this five by five scale to create a chart called a risk matrix. The risk matrix plots likelihood, um, most, most often on the, the y-axis against impact, which is usually on the x-axis. Now we can see our example risk here that's plotted with a likelihood of four and a potential impact of five. And we can see how this might compare to another risk with a lower likelihood and lower impact. Now, if we add colors to the 25 quadrants in our risk matrix, we get what's called the heat map. When we add more risks, we can see how intuitively the heat map draws our attention to the risks that we probably wanna focus on first, the red ones in the upper right corner. 